hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to complete the texturing for this motor so in the last video we textured the wooden part of this model so today we are going to texture this motor so go to texture set list and make sure you have selected your motor material go to layers and in the materials select this iron row damaged and drop it in the layers increase the roughness to 0 0.6 and also change the color to something more darker like this and this is going to be our base material so let's rename this as base so let's create our surface material take a new fill layer and rename it as metal now go to base color and you can select this color from here or you can just paste this color code you can see on the screen increase the metalness to 0 0.7 and roughness to 0 0.4 or maybe roughness to 0 0.3 and metalness to 0 0.75 now let's take a new fill layer and disable the color metal normal and height rename it as roughness right click on it add a black mask and in this black mask take a fill and search for noise and you'll see this 3d pearly noise fractal keep the roughness to 0 0.35 or 0 0.37 Now in this noise map add a new fill and search for dirt and you'll see this dirt 4 select it and change the blending mode to linear dodge decrease the opacity to 50 and also this Perlin noise to 60 or 70 select this dirt 4 and change the projection to tri planner and scale to 2 now to add some bump detail on this material take a new fill and rename it as bump disable color metal roughness and normal Increase the height to 0 0.05 and add a black mask, add a fill and again search for noise and select this 3D Perlin noise. Now select this metal roughness and bump and group them, rename it as mortar material. Now select this base layer and put it on the top of this motor and right click on it add a black mask and in this black mask add a generator go to generators and select this metal edge wear 
increase the contrast and use tri planner Now go to this metal edge where and decrease the opacity a little bit to 70 rename it as edge where now add a new fill layer and disable metal normal and height Increase the roughness to 1 and change its color to something more dirty. Rename it as the dirt. Right click on it add a black mask and again add a generator. And this time select this dirt generator. Use tri planner and increase the contrast to 0.75 and decrease the dirt level to 0.6. Also, decrease the opacity. Add a new fill and again search for dirt. And select this grunge concrete dirty. Change the blending mode to linear dodge and decrease the balance and also opacity. Change the color Now add a new fill layer and disable color, metal and normal. Increase the roughness and decrease height to minus 0.2. Add a black mask and a fill and search for scratches and select this grunge scratch rough. Change the scale to 4 and projection to tri planner increase the contrast and decrease the balance to 0 0.125 put your motor material and Change the metallic value to 0 0.7 and roughness to 0 0.35 or maybe 0 0.325 Rename this as Scratches and let's add some rust so go to your materials and select this rust fine and drop it in the layers 
change the projection to tri planner and scale to three and make it a little bit darker add a black mask and take a generator now select this metal edge wear use tri planner increase the contrast to 0 0.8 and decrease the wear level and decrease the opacity to 65 or maybe 70 now to add some rust manually just add a paint over this and change the blending mode to linear dodge go to brushes and select any brush i'm going to take this dirt 2 and start painting like this And also if you feel the intensity too high, just decrease the opacity. Or maybe even color. So our texturing is done let's render this and do some post processing so click on this render and change the viewport resolution to 2 now go to activate port activate post effect enable it and saturation to 1.8 zero zero maybe one point zero five and exposure to one point five change the function to auto and in the activate color profile change it to red lock Also enable the vignette and increase the strength to 0 0.7. Turn down the exposure a little bit, maybe 1.25. And contrast to 1. Saturation to 1.025. and increase the max time to 5 minutes it depends totally on your PC and let it render for 5 minutes and then you can click on this save render and then export your JPG or PNG so that's it for this video I hope you like the series of this mortar modeling and tutorials 
and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel and also follow me on the instagram links are in the description so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video